Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. Fat. Today I wanted to speak about fat. None of this is diet or nutrition advice, by the way. We only speak about history here and the seasonal availability of food. And some of the things our ancestors uh, did and ate will have your doctor just want to slap the crap out of you if you wanted to eat like them, if you came up to your doctor like this. And today, on this episode, we are talking about fat. Animal fat, especially. You are going to be absolutely blown away when you start reading these things and start seeing these old cookbooks and diets. How much our ancestors ate in Europe over the ages. We find it in some of the most ancient cookbooks, remedies, medicine, recipes, um, journals of what ancient Roman soldiers carried with them. It was so much fat, animal fat arguably the most common ingredient that you will find in all the oldest sources and traditional recipes around Europe. They would have jars and jars of fat stored in their homes uh, to eat whenever they wanted, or they would be taking this on their travels and using it daily. They could put it in a stew, wipe it on some bread and eat that. They made soaps and wash themselves out of it they put it on wounds to help heal it you can just even take your fingers on a spoon and swipe that shit up out of the jar and eat some as a snack it's disgusting it's stuff that would make us cringe today and give us high cholesterol just watching it but it was a reality of humans for the longest time for a couple very good reasons first and most important it can be stored for a very, very long time. Sealed animal fat um, stored away can have a shelf life up to a year and even longer if it's stored in a cool, dry place. And basically all you have to do is, you know, in ancient times after humans slaughtered a cow or a pig or whatever, they would cut off and separate as much of the fat as they possibly could. They would cook it on low heat, melt it down, and store it away in jars or tubs or whatever they did. And they would have that as a valuable food source for at least the rest of the year that they can use in so many different ways, like I mentioned. This is very, very valuable when you know, because in certain seasons, food supply would be low, and fat gives a ton of calories and can be added to almost any food to give it some good flavor and nutrition. We are in one of these seasons now where there's not much other food growing around, the real big harvests aren't coming up until the late summer, and there's doesn't make much sense to slaughter your animals or go out hunting now like I already spoke about. So during the spring, until the midsummer time, even late summer time, there would have been very little meat in our ancestors' diet. Uh, there would be tons of dairy though, like milk, cheese, eggs, and things like that. And plenty of fruits, plenty of the greens that are in season already, and then most importantly, maybe animal fat. We probably hadn't slaughtered any livestock since the spring festivals a few months ago, but we would have preserved that fat to last us long into the summer and even the rest of the year. I can definitely not say that I agree with this aspect of our ancestors' diet, and it's definitely probably not a good idea to eat fat this much um, uh, with our modern, less active lifestyles, but I think we can take a little bit of wisdom from it. Try to, uh, like I do, um, separate the fat and lean meat as much as you possibly can. Today, some people might eat meat every day, the whole year, they'll go out to a restaurant and they'll get a nice fatty steak, or they'll have some bacon or some ground beef with a lot of fat in it. Lean meat and the fat together in the same meal. But what our ancestors would have done is when they slaughter the animal, they try and cut out all the fat that they possibly can, and they eat that lean meat separate. So they eat that fresh, they cook it, or they salt it, or they dry it, or they preserve it, or whatever. The fat, they store that away in a jar, and they use that regularly, almost every day for the whole year. So that's what I like to do whenever I eat meat. I like to get the leanest, leanest cuts possible. And if I do eat fat, 
especially in the uh, summer and the winter time I put just a little bit of fats a couple times a week in some stew or in some soup or I make it with some eggs or some bread or whatever and like I said I separate that from my meat when I eat meat I try to make sure that it's a very uh, lean cut but again I don't recommend this diet, it's probably not healthy, but it's just something that our ancestors would have done for historical uh, purposes for you guys. So let us know in the comments, have you ever experienced with any recipes like this, you know, the lards or the fats put in soups or stews, I don't know if you're Australian, the Vegemite sandwiches, whatever. Let us know in the comments, we would all love to hear recipes from around the world.